Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Joy Akatkunda Williams here. I'm going to be talking about 12 amazing facts about Uganda. So, for those of you who have never met me, I was born in Uganda, I've lived in Uganda my whole life, and I'm probably going to die in Uganda. Make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and turn on post notifications so that you don't miss any of my videos. Let's go so, right. Number one, Uganda is the only country in the world that has tree climbing lions. Yes. Anyway, these lions are a special kind of lions that climb trees. Now, I know my Tanzanian brothers and sisters are looking at me like, hmm. Okay. Well, there are climbing lions in the Manyara Park in Tanzania, but well, not as many as the ones in Uganda. So the climbing lions in Uganda are found in Queen Elizabeth National Park in southwestern Uganda. They are commonly referred to as the Ishasha lions by most tourists who come here. So if you want to check out climbing lions, you should definitely come to Uganda and visit Queen Elizabeth National Park in number two. Uganda is the home to half of the world's gorilla population like i mean the remaining gorillas in the world half of them will live in uganda well if you want to see these beautiful creatures you should come to uganda and go to windy impenetrable national forest park i mean the the thick forests of windy make it a good habitat for these creatures to live in their you know clans and you know they have families and all that stuff so you should definitely check out these gorillas when you come to Uganda. So, number three, Uganda has the longest river in the world. It is the source of the longest river in the world. This is River Nile. I'm sure most of you have heard of it. I mean, tourists flood the River Nile almost every year, except this year because of the you know coronavirus situation and everything. But the source of the Nile is in Jinja, right here in Uganda. So if you want to visit the source of the Nile, it is only and only in Uganda. So Uganda is the source of the Nile and it is the home of the longest river in the world. So, number four, Uganda has the largest lake in the whole of Africa. Yes, the largest lake in Uganda and in the whole of Africa is Lake Victoria. I mean, people in Kenya and Tanzania are probably saying that they, you know, they have Lake Victoria, but yes, you guys just share small portions of the lake. I mean, if you can just go and look at the map of Africa and East Africa, you just see small portions of Lake Victoria in Kenya and Tanzania. So basically, my sisters in Kenya and Tanzania, Lake Victoria is for Uganda. Thank you so much for understanding. Number five, this one is really, really interesting. So Uganda is the best English speaking country in Africa go argue with your mama i don't want to work i mean i don't want to argue about this so if you want to find facts just google the best english speaking countries in africa and uganda will pop right there yes believe it or not we are the best english speaking country in africa yeah i mean that's it feels good right yeah so six uganda is the most ethnically diverse country in the whole wide world what i mean is uganda is the country in the entire world with the most number of tribes and languages we have over 30 indigenous languages it's crazy out here we, we are so many we are the only country in the world that has over 30 tribes and languages each tribe has its own language the beauty about this is that if a tribe is in okay like if two tribes are in the same geographical location like people in the north their languages are closely related but different so if maybe okay i'm, I'm not going to give that example because i don't speak those I'm not, I'm not from the north i'm from the west so let me use our own example so i'm from the west i'm in Banyakode. they are called Banyakode when you come to to uganda so i'm from i'm i'm, I'm a so if, if i'm Nyankode is speaking and i'm chiga is speaking it is possible to closely communicate and hear what the other person from the other tribe is saying because our languages are very very close like we can almost and we can understand each other even though i may not be able to speak the same language i'm uchiga or i'm Toro is speaking i will understand what they are saying the same applies to people around the center i think okay i'm not sure if basoga in the central but but baganda and basoga also their language is also close so if i'm gonna speaking i'm so i can understand even though uh i'm uganda might not be able to speak lusoga but the languages are 
close, closely related so they can understand each other yeah that's seven so uganda is home of the the, the recipe that has taken over the world uganda is the home of the rolex the mighty mighty rolex i like to call it the mighty rolex because this recipe has gone international so i'm actually not talking about the watch brand i'm talking about the food brand okay a rolex is just a chapati and and eggs fried eggs so someone makes fried eggs and then they put them on top of a chapati and then they add vegetables you can add any kind of vegetables these days they add chicken they add beef they, they can add sausages so they can be made in very many different ways you can have a veggie rolex a chicken rolex i mean it's just so beautiful when you come to uganda the first thing you ask for should be a rolex we eat these all the time because this is like the easiest street food you can get and it's very cheap it's like 1000 1500 2000 that's less than a dollar you can you can have a rolex and your lunch is done so when you come to uganda you definitely have to try the rolex so at number eight uganda's favorite food is matoke so i think the most eaten food in uganda is matoke well basically this matoke is loved mainly by the by the Uganda people yeah i think i don't know i think there are more banana plantations in in the central region than any other region and basically the central is mostly baganda people i yeah i think so matoke is is the most loved food in uganda when you come to uganda people i, I think people eat matoke every day if, if it's uh like a family yeah in in all families i think if you visit a family and they've not cooked matoke then someone might ask what happened today like like what really happened like people eat matoke every single day especially the the men the husbands if they come back home and there's no matoke they might be like what's going on in this house what's happening in this home yeah so people in uganda love matoke so much it's like one of their best foods nice. so number nine is uganda has the most welcoming people in the entire africa we are so friendly so warm so loving when you come to our country we'll want the first thing i'm sure we'll want you to test our matoke our rolex we we'll want you you know to go places so we're very very welcoming we're definitely friendly people so you should visit uganda and meet people like me i'm definitely a friendly person yeah believe me number 10 i think this is one of my favorites because it's really really funny so when you come to uganda there's a kind of way sometimes we speak our english okay not not everything but sometimes we use some words to mean something else okay so if you come to uganda if you ever come to uganda and you hear someone say that i'm going to make a short call it's nothing related to a phone call <laughs> so if someone says if you come to Uganda and someone says, I'm going to make a short call, what I actually mean is, um, I'm going to pee. I don't know if any other African countries use this or any any other country in the world says this, but in Uganda, a short call means I'm going to pee. And then if, <laughs> if someone says I'm going to make a long call, then it means they're going to poop. <laughs> yeah. So if you ever come to Uganda and someone says, I'm going to for a short call or a long call, Please don't think they're going to make a phone call yeah they're just going to answer nature's call so number 11 is almost 50 percent of uganda's population is under the age of 15 so we have we have the uh, we actually have the youngest population in the entire world uh, i don't know why but i think women in uganda are very fertile and you might you find families that have five kids six kids ten kids there are families that have 20 kids from one woman yes one woman with 20 children yes yeah, so i guess we produce a lot we are very fertile oh wow well, that's it this is number 12 oh i actually should have made it like in the top five so ugandans love grasshoppers me inclusive yes we love grasshoppers they are really very tasty i know what you're thinking we eat weird things we eat insects okay 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 
there are people who eat like really creepy sea animals and it freaks us out too so let us enjoy our grasshoppers in peace but these things are really tasty i promise they yes. are that marks the end of my video today because i have told you all the coolest facts about uganda all right guys that marks the end of my video today thank you so much for watching my video and thank you for watching my youtube channel thank you so much see you next time bye